shall he not hear? He that form the eyes shall he not see? He that chastises the heathen shall not he correct? He that teaches man knowledge shall not he know? The Lord knows the thoughts of man that they are vanity. Blessed is the man who now chastens, O Lord, and teaches him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Right. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? Genesis chapter 11 
and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick. Wait, hold on, what happened? It said, and it came to pass. Right. As they journeyed from the east. Right. That they found a plain in the land of Shinar. Where did they fucking come from, huh? Where did they fucking come from? And it came to pass. As they journeyed from the east. From the damn east, man. The east. Not Africa. They came from the east. Now this is the, this is after the flood of Noah. The Tower of Babel. Now this mother, I bet he was gonna tell me that the Tower of Babel was in was in Ethiopia. Cause, that, cause see, to, see what you gotta understand, cause I used to be in this damn roster shit. Them fucking Hamites, them Kushites. All everything, see, you see with them, everything gotta be in Ethiopian Africa. They some real everything. nationalists, man. Everything. Actions as he would have told you that the um, Ark of the Covenant was in fucking Ethiopia, man. But we know in the scriptures it said that Jeremiah put it in some mountain, man. But ask him, ask him, he gonna tell you it's in no, no, it's in Eritrea, it's in Ethiopia. All right? Cause see, what you gotta understand about these Hamites is these, especially Kush, man. Kush thinks everything revolves around them. They think everything in the scriptures is, is theirs. And like they think life itself started in Ethiopia. All right? The first Israelites is in Ethiopia. Then they think that Solomon took a woman from Ethiopia and banged her up, and then the child Menelik came to Ethiopia, and then the new Israel is going to be in Ethiopia. But the most I don't give a damn about no fucking Ethiopia. The land that the most I love is Israel. Now when you read these scriptures, these scriptures going to tell you that everybody came from the east, man. Now that was right with this damn fake Jew said, the anthropologist, that all civilization started in the Middle East. All right, because even the scriptures prove that. So keep going. Now read that again, man. Genesis 11 and 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. Now why were they journeying from the east? Because they was, they was starting to come down from the mountain, man. What is it, Mount Ararat? They were coming down from the mountain to start to settle on the ground because all the water had receded. So where the hell is Ethiopia in there then? Where's the people they journeyed from Ethiopia? Cause that's a fucking lie, man. What uh keep reading now. And they said one to another, go to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime, had they for mortar. Right. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower, right. whose top may reach unto heaven. Right. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Most High came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men built it. And the Most High said, behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down. And there confound their language. Right. That they may not understand one another's speech. Now I'm going to hit you up with something. You damn Ethiopians, you weren't even speaking Je'ez. Je'ez. Which that was plagiarized from our language, okay? All right, they got an ancient language that they call Je'ez, or G-E-E-Z. But they, that's their holy language that they priest and Lalabella speak about. That's what they read. They got all in their scriptures that they stole from us. All right, when they were whooping our ass. All right, they got all these little scriptures, well, our scriptures, and Je'ez. Now, Je'ez is a plagiarism of Hebrew, man. Just like these damn fake Jews did, they did it 
to. So the Most High scattered them abroad from them upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel. This place is called Babel. Go ahead. Because the Most High did there confound the language of all the earth. Now Babel, or Babylon, is in the east. Shinar is in the east. This is all the places of the Fertile Crescent, which was in the Middle East, where civilization started, which is where Isaac, uh, Abraham came from, the land of the Chaldees, Ur, and Babylon, in the Middle East. So what the hell is this heathen talking about? About everything started Ethiopia, Ethiopia this, Ethiopia that. What the hell is he talking about? Where is he getting that from? It's a fucking lie. Give me that again. Prove all, prove all things. So okay, that's that one. Right. Why right, somebody give me something good for chapter 10 or 9? Why do we need to read the Mayfair and match the Mayfair? 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Right. And you know what's good? These scriptures, man. So if you ain't coming out these scriptures, man, we don't want to hear shit you got to say. About some evolution and about some Ethiopia it is. That's why these Negroes in America believe that they come from Africa. Because these Hamites, hey, wait, let's fuck them, man. You know what, man? When we went into slavery, man, who put us in slavery? Was it just Esau, the so-called white man? No. Ham was going out gathering us and hunting us, man. So like I said earlier, Ham, these Africans, and uh, Esau, so-called white men, are in cool goes together, man. They're the ones put us in slavery, man. They're the ones keep us in this oppression right here, man. Keep us in this oppressed mind state. Tell us the damn Africans. Man, I wish I could find that scripture too, man. Alright. It's a it's a rare scripture. You say uh they said that they came over the river. They said, let us go to the people. Right? No, let us tell this is basically trying to tell us about it. It talks about fish, man. It says fish. What uh uh who has something? You got something? Yeah, well, hold on, you was done with that?